One, two, three. Hi, everybody. Welcome to 3Ply Podcast. Happy New Year. We're so excited that you're here to join us, and we're very happy to be back. Uh, this is episode 76. I'm Angie. I'm Irene. I'm Joyce. And Irene is going to start you off with our administrative portion. All righty. So happy new year to everyone. We've got another Queen Sandy bag giveaway from the last episode, and we uh, were able to find a winner randomly, Valerie Fisher. Valerie, if you could email us at threeplypodcast at gmail.com, give us your contact information and we'll get a bag out to you. But there will be a delay because we've exhausted our supply And Queen Sandy has generously offered to sew up some more bags. And uh, we have to just get those, you know, coordinated, meet her and uh, pick up those bags. And uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? I don't have a question for this episode. So why don't we say, tell us what you're going to knit in 2022. Comment below. All right. Moving on, questions and answers. This segment, uh, one of the questions that we received was, where do we like to go on vacation? And it's not to visit family, but a true vacation. All right, why don't you go first? Sorry, (laughs) I said any place warm. Oh, of course, (laughs) of course, Joyce. (laughs) Leave the quilted coat behind. Get rid of that puffy coat and go warm. All right, Angie. Yeah, I'm the same. I just don't want to be somewhere where there's no snow ever. A beach, uh, you know, somewhere warm. I guess I'm thinking along the same lines. Um, I enjoy California during the winter. And if I were going uh, overseas, I'd say any English speaking country to make it easier. So Scotland, England, Ireland. Uh, Australia, New Zealand, lovely people, but that's a long haul. Um, (laughs) They are very nice, but I do remember a time when we went many years ago and uh, my husband in Melbourne uh, was called a dickhead. So (laughs) he was setting up his GPS and I guess it was taking him too long in the parking lot. And some guy just went off on him, but it sounded so lovely. <laughs> well, here you are, <laughs> yeah. and it was all so good. So anyway, all right. Second question. What is our favorite cast on or bind off? Um, I think we all agree that whatever the pattern calls for, that's what we would typically use. Uh, yeah. But I am reminded of that Chinese waitress ca- uh, cast on. Do you remember yeah. that? Angie, yeah. I think you were there where somebody in our knitting circle, looked up Russian waitress. So if you're looking up the Chinese waitress cast on, make sure it's not, don't look up Russian cast on. That's going to go somewhere where you don't want to go. want to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And um, new segment in 2022 is what to knit in 22. So... Um, Basically, it's dream knitting, like what you might have that you're thinking of doing. Um, For me, it would be, I think the Stockholm hat is my next uh, project. You know what I like? Where is this? That little uh, thing on the head. I think that's very popular now. Have you seen hats? So I'd like to try my hand at that. My only hesitation it's all ribbed. So Joyce, you're not going to make that. Yeah, I'm not making that. Anyway, so that. I don't think I've ever seen you in a hat. No. No. I I'm going to make like another. a bowling ball in a hat. So that's <laughs> one of the reasons. Well, but I don't I know that gifting. most women wear hats because they don't want to mess up their hair, whether yeah. going to work or going to the store or oh, right. whatever. But that little, I think it was Lenny hat by uh, Isabel Kramer. That was one of the cutest hats. And after the last snow that we had where I had to shovel, you know, I couldn't find a hat for myself in the bag or the bin at all. So I think I'm going to knit myself that hat. Okay. There you go. Well, I have to say that there are times where I think you have to wear a hat just because it gets that cold or yeah. something. So yeah, it's good. 
What about you, Ange? Favorite cast on? No. no. What are you going to knit in 2022? Oh, what am I going to knit in 2022? Um, I like the Petite Knits has a like a V-neck pullover. Um, I like that. And then um, when I was at Knitting on Wednesday, one of the girls bought yarn to make something called the, the Road to Gimmerton. And it's like a chunky sweater uh, with short mm -hmm. sleeves. And so that's my other thought. I've always wanted to knit something with really chunky yarn, like a little something with real chunky yarn. So see how fast it knits up. And I would think it would go pretty fast, probably right, a weekend, perhaps. Yeah. So that was my thought, either that one or the vest. So the petite knits vest. So. Um, okay. One of those, maybe. Joyce, anything? I'm going to go with something Advent whether it be Advent mittens, Advent little sweaters, stockings. I haven't decided yet. Oh, you know what? Uh, Just for the, the holidays. Speaking of that, I was thinking about those Advent mittens and I did order, um, I think the, it's like an Advent garland that you make, but I thought I don't want to number them. If I don't actually go through all the way to 24, I could just hang them as an ornament. But I did find this on Etsy. And they're little wooden, like numbers. Oh, cute. Yeah. So instead of numbering the mittens, if I did make 24, which who the hell knows, the, the pattern that I saw was all um, color work. So lots of work. But yeah, maybe I could just sew that on. Yeah, that's cute. Instead of the numbering system. So whatever. That's cute. cute. It's funny because I ordered, if I did the little sweaters, I ordered these little hangers. Oh, cute from Amazon and, but they're quite long and I'm thinking, eh, it's yeah, a big sweater. Big. Yeah. So, but when I, but when I ordered them, they looked really mini. So I was quite surprised when they came and I'm like, wow, those are quite big. Yeah. So, I use, I have little wire yeah. They're nice. They're nice little wood hangers. I mean, they're cute. <laughs> they're super cute. So anyway, we'll see. All right. All right. <clears throat> and yeah, we are moving, let's see, I'm lost now. Um, we are moving on to what are you wearing? What are you wearing, Ange? Well, I am wearing, <laughs> <laughs> so lucky me, uh, vaccinated and boosted, I still got COVID, so I had to stay home for five days. And in five days, I knit this, it's called the Juniper Cowl. And it's a um, cute little crocheted cowl. See? Cute, and Nice. And because I couldn't leave the house, um, I used stash. Yes, believe it, I do have some. Um, <laughs> and I used Koigu, which has been sitting in my stash for years. And I wow. love it. And I did not want to use it, but it seemed appropriate for this cowl because of all the colors that- Yeah, you know, it worked went in there and then the bottom is super cute it has a let's see if i can find the camera here it has a backwards crochet crab stitch Ooh, edge super cute, cute. so that's what i'm wearing yeah, it's a winner so how long did it take you to make that under five days <laughs> well i know but i was thinking because you're so big at doing your uh christmas gifts for your friends at work and that kind of thing and i'm I'm thinking if that's quick, that would be really cute for them. Yeah, this is, this is, this was very quick, but it does because it's crochet and it's puffy stitches. It takes a lot of yarn. So there's one. Oh, but you would get to use up your stash. Yeah. You say, what if you doubled up your fingering weight or tripled or whatever? Well, Koiku is, Koiku is a fingering weight. Mm, really? It's just, yeah, it's just, you just. Because that wrap. looks quite chunky. It does because of the stitch. It's puff. Ah. So you just like wrap it like 500 times and that makes like ah, I see see how puffy they well are. then yeah so it was very fun so if you crochet and you want something quick and fun and warm and I actually stopped sooner than I sh than the pattern called for because I ran out of colors that would match so nice you, know, you could make it longer and go down over your shoulders similar to that one that Irene makes Cute. The color yeah. shift, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. color shift. 
only crocheted and, you know, gives you an option. Not so you. what about you, Irene? What are you wearing? Cute with a little well, skin. I am wearing the Miss Marple scarf. And I should point out that when you look it up on Ravelry, it's Miss Marple altogether, no space. So, which I thought, oh, that's interesting. Anyway, I used up some Malabrigo worsted, not Rios, this is worsted. And um, I gifted one uh, kind of a denim using Malabrigo Rios over the holidays. And the neighbor that I gave it to was thrilled. You know, she said all the right things. It was, uh, it made me so happy. And she said, yeah. oh, my friend and I were just talking about how as you age, it's nice to have a scarf that will cover up the wrinkles on your neck. Bonus. <laughs> bonus. So ladies, not a bad idea to All have. All you people out there with wrinkly necks. <laughs> Even the young people. Hey, make it, put it away. Someday you'll be glad you have it. So, you know, and Ange, I don't know how you feel about this. Having short hair, yeah. it's awesome to have something on your neck because yeah. I get chilly so much more quickly than I do with long hair. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So even absolutely. like when I'm laying in bed reading, I go grab something to throw over the back of my neck until I warm up. Yeah, it's... Well, and I should point out the pin. I always thought that I would put a pin on here. And this is a snowflake pin from uh, Macy's. So I bought it online. And uh, I think the company is Holiday Lane. And uh, bought a few because I thought in the future, it's very hard to find these snowflake pins. Mm -hmm. Sure. I don't know. It must be maybe old fashioned or passe. I don't know. People just don't make brooches anymore or whatever. Yeah, you're right. You're Actually, so vintage. I've had good luck at JC Penney's oh. like in their jewelry section on a big, huge, they have a big, huge round table. That's got a couple of layers, all brooches. And they've had that for a couple of years. I had, didn't go there this year, but I still have a couple of them in a, in a drawer upstairs. There you go. Yeah. And they, some of them look very vintage. They're very cute. Okay. So what do you wear, Joyce? I am wearing, I'm not going to take it off because it's a Dickens to get on. Um, I am wearing the Lights and Twigs shawl that we did as a cal. I don't know how many years ago. And the designer was Barbara, Barbara Nalevko. Can That's real cute. It's got, the little, it's got the little tassels on it. Oh, you did such a nice job on that. It's, it's so cute. cute. It's cute. And what it's, um, tassels? I think I did the um, Lana Doro mm -hmm. yarn. So it's really nice and toasty. Nice. Very so I've been wearing that because of the weather. All right. So now we're moving on to what did you finish? And that, uh, why don't we start out with, um, we'll go backwards. I, uh, uh, Joyce, go ahead and start with what did you finish? Well, um, not that much. <laughs> I did make a hat for Zachary and it's here somewhere. My husband forgot to give it to him, but I did make him an allotment hat. And I just did the double rim for him. And then I finished this. This is the shady end. Hold on, I took a picture of it or of the pattern. It's the shady end, the shady end neck warmer. I haven't put buttons on it yet. And this is by Black, this is that Blackberry Bridge yarn. Cute. And if I didn't, if I didn't have the shawl on, I would put it on, but it's quite cute. I have to say, I wasn't a huge fan of knitting with the yarn, but I really like the end result. So now I just need to get buttons. And actually, I think I'm going to give this away to my, my friend, Debbie, because she really likes the color. Yes. And what's it called? The Shady End? Shady End Neck Warmer by cute. Ann Bosch. Cute, cute. I like yeah, it. It, it. It is very cute. And actually, you know, because I when we went to the Wisconsin Sheep and Wool Show a few years ago, I bought the pattern. I didn't get the yarn. So this year, when, last year, when we went back in the fall, I actually got the yarn because I couldn't find the gradient in the worsted that would give me the same look as the pattern call. That for. is a gradient? It's a gradient. Wow. Yeah. And actually, um, I never thought I was going to, because you start at the top of the ribbing, and I actually never thought I was oh, yeah. going to get to the black. So I actually knitted a little bit longer so I could get to the, right. so I could get to the black. But I think it'd be really cute in a nice solid color. And I would say throw a mohair on it, but it's got that moss stitch in there. 
and I'm sure you would lose the pattern. Oh, very cute. So, but even something a little lofty as far as, you know, your yarn choice goes, like the Lana Dora would be beautiful. I think they discontinued it, but if you've got any laying around, it'd be a really cute uh, yarn for that one. Anything that's got a little bit of loft, but like I said, I think you'd lose the pattern with anything mohair added to it, but it's cute. Yeah. And I finished, um, I did finish another baby hat for one of the ladies at work and I've given it to her without um, taking a picture of it. But we had another woman that had the little girl that I made the little cardigan for. And I thought she just needed a pixie hat because I think they're so stinking Oh my cute. God, that's cute. <laughs> so uh, I haven't blocked it yet. So I have to do that this afternoon, take pictures of it. But look at that little pop pop. So I think these that? hats are so cute on these little ones. Um, it's by Julie Taylor and it is the Ellery E L L E R Y pixie hat. Cute. And I got it on Ravelry, but yeah, cutest little thing ever. That is cute. Yeah, actually, I think uh, it goes this way. I think it goes this way. Yeah. Cause it goes under well, the chin. I had used the little clover pom-poms and I didn't have the really small one. So I just did a few, I didn't really pack up the small one. So that's why it's a little bit fluffy. But I think it's cuter that way. It's so cute. Yeah. So, and really, ladies, that's all I finished. Okay. Well, what about you, Irene? What do you have? <laughs> I have <laughs> pairs of socks. Knitting. Let's start with the hat brigade here. Uh, lots of hats. This is the muscle burrow, you know, and this that's is cute. Where and all I did was use up uh, the Rowan felted tweed that I had. So this is my second muscle burl. And you could wear so, it the other way, you know. So it, Oh, reverse. It, yes. You know, so if you chose not to have this double color, you could just have it as a solid going this way. Let me fix and um, what weight yarn does that pattern call for? Fingering? Oh, you could do fingering or uh, DK. You know, the, the way it's uh, written, you, after you uh, do the um, increases, then you use, uh, you know, you set up the gauge or check your gauge and then decide like, you know, the needle size and all that. But I used a size five with the Rowan felted tweed. So good TV knitting, I'm assuming. Oh, because just stocking it. After you pass that increases and all that, there's no thinking. So it clicks. Nice. This actually didn't take as long as I had done last year. Uh, fingering one that seemed to take forever for some odd reason, but yeah. So uh, and the Rowan felt a tweet is DK, right? It's supposed to so. be DK, but it's a thinner DK. So yeah. I argue that. I don't know how, you, what do you do when it's like not this or yeah, not that? But I've used it, but I don't think it's quite fingering either. Right. Correct. But it's, I've had DK that have been, has been much thicker. So, mm. and then um, Yukon campfire hat. Cute. Now this I used, um, I guess, the, what is this? Uh, Knit picks, swish worsted. Yeah, All we see is uh, the hefty sign. <laughs> but look there at how go. much, oh, look at how much yeah. is left over. I don't think I could get a second hat out of this, but there's a substantial amount left over. Now, the colors I used, black, serrano, and hollyberry. So if somebody wanted to do this, but again, it's the stranded. So there's a lot of, well, I would think it would be warm. My thought was, I'm going to try this, and then I'm going to make hats for everybody for next year. No, it was a pain in the ass. Okay, just to put it blunt. <laughs> I didn't enjoy it. I love the look of it, but yeah. so there you have that. And well, trial and error. Right. Another allotment hat. Cute. And a lot is my favorite hat. hat. It's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. it really is. And this was the Tosh vintage DK. I'm not sure what the color is, but um very, very nice. This is this would be a lovely gift for somebody who's worthy. So, all right. What else? Speaking of the color shift, this is my blue one. Very like a machine. Nice. I got to tell you, this is probably one of my favorite patterns, but again, lots of ribbing. I, something happens to the hand. 
after a while. So it's not something that you could sit down and finish in three or four days or whatever. You'll be like a lobster claws or whatever. So uh, what's there to say about it? I used up my single ply Tash Merino light in the colorway Night in Chile. So I always, I bought it because I love the color. And then it was like, well, what do I do with this? What am I going to do? So it went into this as well as uh, what was another good one that I used? Uh, I thought I put the um, Julie Aslin light blue Fino in here too. And then just leftovers that I had. So it worked out beautifully. And oh, surprise, I did finish my anchor sweater. Nice. Okay. I'm and so how do you excited. like it? I like it. It's beautiful, but it's called what? Anchor Summer Shirt by Petite Knit. It's not a summer shirt for me. It's it's heavy because I held two uh, fingering together. Uh, this, I think, the yoke part is just yeah, it's cute. spectacular. Funny. So that's that's what I got. All right. Have you worn it? No, I haven't. I thought I was going to have it done for Christmas or New Year's, and I I, I didn't accomplish that. Hmm. So. Well, I finished lots and lots of hats, um, I, but I gave them all away over Christmas. So um, I did a bunch of the um, bridge block. And that's the one that uh, Lori had recommended that night. So that's a ridge walk hat. Um, and it's a really cute pattern. I made a bunch of this one which is the, uh, yeah, there was a, yeah, you did. Yeah. I mean, tons, tons of those, uh, made one for my grandson's teacher. I mean, just everybody I could think of and, uh, but they're all gone cause I gave them all away, but I did take pictures of some of them. So I'll send those to Irene. She can put them in, but this is what I really was excited about. Ooh. Which one is that? This is five pennies shawl. And it is, it says what it's by. It's Judy Marple's designs, five penny, uh, P-E-N-N-Y, five spelled out shawl. Now, the way they do it on the, uh, on the pattern is they have it in blocks of color. I used, and Betsy just got this yarn in. It is so it's fabulous. I love it. It's called Helix DK by Utopia. Ooh. Oh, cute. Isn't that great? Yeah. And I used two, um, and mine is enormous, because uh, I think this is normally for like um, a sock weight yarn, but here's some other colors. This color is called January. Oh, this that's is, pretty. This is very Joyce. Yes. Um, this one is called Bee's Knees, which is what I used, of course. Cute. Um, there's, and there's more colors than these. I just brought a few. Tapestry. Ooh. Love that. That's appropriate. It reminds me of that yarn you like, Joyce. Um, spin cycle? Is it the spin cycle? Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of it, but it's softer. Um, and this is Monet, Monet's line. Uh, Monet, oh, pretty. Monet, Monet lilies. So pretty. But um, this woman's in Wisconsin. So um, we have seen that company at uh, Wisconsin Sheep and Wool. Yeah. And didn't you, yeah. Joyce, buy that poncho pattern? I think it was from that yep. booth. I did. But Actually, if you want to, if you want to make one of these shawls, Betsy has plenty of the yarn. She also has a beautiful green, which I will probably also buy. But it changes color as it goes on its own, so you're not. Oh, how beautiful! Color. Yeah, it turned out very nice, and so. Anyway, that's that's the one thing I finished that I have here. I like so. it, and that's about it. So we have uh, a break coming up. Okay, let's All right. All right, see you soon. See okay. Ya. segment for Irene No Bear Feed. <laughs> Thank you, Angie. <laughs> All right. So uh, people who follow us on Instagram probably know that I finished the Advent socks that I had, uh, Cozy Knitter. Cute. 
Their so, elephant from 2021. Then I have the freckled whimsy, their advent. And again, I got to tell you, I love this heel, the candy wafer socks from the spot yarn and this checkerboard look. I just thought it added a little, you know, oomph to the sock. Uh, and then uh, I, my Christmas Eve cast on was the Hermione um, Everyday Socks by Erica Ooh. Luter. And the yarn here is Grinch by Legacy Fiber Arts in their steel toe base. Cute. So the loveliness. I love their yarn. Oh, it's spectacular, spectacular, wow. spectacular. Uh, then what else? I went on to use the Desert Vista Dye Works Holiday Stripe Thin. So I did two pairs. One. Now this was toe up and then I did the sewn bind off. I think the sewn bind off is the only way to go with uh, toe up socks. Otherwise, it's very wonky and weird looking to me. Not that it's like that when you wear it, but boy, I cannot find a bind off for toe up that I really care for. So, uh, oh, and speaking of which, I did another pair using that yarn. Again, when you embellish like the toe, a cuff, something like that, you can get two pairs out of a one skein. Now here I used the linen toe that I talked about on episode 75, continued on, did the heel, and I ended with a Pico edge yeah, bind off just to you know change it up. The only thing, my hesitation is I'm not sure how this would wear. Uh, socks I think get a little loose as you wear them, and this might be a problem. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But that's pretty. And uh, oh, done scrap, just some used up scrap yarn. So these are <laughs> the clown sock category. But hey, they'll keep your feet warm. Doesn't right. matter. Does not the matter. House, who cares? Yeah. And then mm -hmm. uh, I got some yarn from Betsy West Yorkshire Spinners yarn. This is in the colorway 861 Bullfinch. And just a vanilla sock, no big deal. Cuff down, uh, regular kind of heel with the you know heel flap and gusset, and then uh, a rounded toe. I embellished with the gray, which leads me to finishing up with a little grandson can get some socks out of these. Cute. So my uh, one son-in-law has a birthday in February, so I will gift him this. And then his son, his birthday follows in February. And if I can finish these, which I, you know I will. <laughs> <laughs> There's no question, we yeah. know. <laughs> he will get these. And I just have a little bit left. Either I'll go all the way and then have to do a little gray toe, uh, but maybe not because again, it's for a little kid, so. And that's all I got in No Bare Feet. What about you people? I have, I have bare feet. <laughs> you, 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 you. Got her flip flops on again. Ooh, Ooh are pretty. those pretty? So now this yarn I've used before. When you first came out with your um, shorty sock pattern, I made it for Carson in these exact colors. Well, I had so much left over. I'm like, ah, I just want to get done with this. So I made myself a plain vanilla pair of socks. And yeah. I use the partridge heel. So Very but they nice. really they really are a young looking person, a young look young looking person's socks, but I don't care. I'm gonna wear them. I anyway. don't know that you would say, well, and who sees <laughs> your feet? They're to make you happy. Right. Well, I just did it to really just to get rid of the yarn. And Angie, yeah. I if I thought about it, I'm like, I should have made them for you, but I don't I think this might be too big for you still. <laughs> Oh yes, way too big. No. Barbie feet. Barbie yeah. feet. Well, they're only a six. I know you're around a five, five and no, a half. She, so. she needs a half. sun sack. Here, this so. is Angie's size. Tiny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but even so. So oh, what yarn? That's all. That? Do you remember what yarn? No, actually, um, this the the light purple I think I had bought on line a few years ago when um, one of my friends she actually came down with um ms it's and while she was while she was recovering her favorite color was purple 
and I had some left over. So that's from that. And this is Betsy died many moons ago. And it was a quite a quite a large skein. So and I still have two, hmm, two little balls left. Oh, maybe you could do like a heel and toe on something or a cuff. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Very so, nice. I like yeah, it. I'm almost done. But yeah, they're cute. And that's that's it. I haven't started anything else. No socks. No socks. That's okay. Irene will keep up for us. Okay, so we're moving on now to what are you knitting? So um, Irene, why don't you go ahead? I'm sure there's a pair of socks in there. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm finishing those little ones, but um, I've got to tell you, Meg from Traverse City, good friend of ours. Hey, Meg. Um, she hey. Told, uh, told me about a pattern. We went to a store up there when I visited a couple years ago. The pattern was called A Wonderful Wallaby 1983 by Carol A. Anderson. And um, you can get the booklet, which I purchased. I have to say, I think I don't like having a hard copy of something. I would have preferred to have it in my Ravelry account. And then it's there's no issue with Oh my God, where did I put it? Where did I, you know, whatever. Anyway, I did find the booklet that I had. So I started this, which was on my like mind for quite some time. And when one of my granddaughters said, oh, could you make me a sweater? I thought, yep, I'm on it. I'll do it. And I thought that this wallaby sweater would be cute. So I wanted to make a larger size because I thought, you know, the kid, all this work that you put into it, I'd like to see her wear it. Uh, more than just one season, I got a feeling it might fit her mother <laughs> and not the kid. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Oh, oh yeah. Now the cuteness of it is the little kangaroo pocket pocket. On your belly, like, I don't know, what would you call this? Pocket. A pocket? Okay. So you've kangaroo got a pocket. Pack. Yeah. Oh, right. Wallaby, kangaroo. Okay. And then it'll have a hood. And I'm almost at that point where, you know, I'm doing the neck and then the hood will come in the back. So at this stage of the game, I'm not unwinding it. Someone will fit in it and it could be her mother. It could be another grandchild. I don't know. I got to find a customer for this because I got a well, feeling. You know, they, <laughs> kids wear their clothes big, you know, now like that's oh, right. She did mention that, but without having the child physically in front of me, I have no idea, but boy, to me, and then it is super wash. What am I using here? Um, Cascade yarns, super wash 220. The color was that's, I was driven by the color because she loves pink, you know, what little girl doesn't. Um, but what I did not notice, it's not Merino. And she sa specifically said, don't make it itchy. Oh, I have no idea uh, to be, you know, continued. So I don't know what happens there. Oh, and uh, when I purchased this, uh, the feeling was, okay, it's super wash, but it is a small garment, not something big. So I don't think that it'll, it better not grow any more than it is, or I don't know. But with that, you can throw it in the washer and dryer and it'll, you know, yes. go right back yeah. to where it was. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's all I've got right now. Okay. That's a lot. Um, I am, I've never made one of those gnomes. So last Saturday I thought, oh, I want to try this gnome. So I got, here you gnome again. And it's by Sarah Shura, Shura, and all I got was the hat. And it took me all flipping day to do the hat. Because you did the one with the cables. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but how pretty. Yeah. And yeah. this is, it's just oh, leftover yeah. stash. I know this one is Cascade Heritage. I have no idea what this one is. But Well, you know, this so. is the, the year of the gnomes, and Betsy's doing that thing at the shop, uh, the knit along where everybody's doing the gnomes for the year. Uh, from that woman's patterns so oh nice okay well then I didn't even know but I'm in the game look so at that you <laughs> you're trying to get twice <laughs> yes. yes and then the other thing I started was also the five penny shawl and I was doing it with the uh Julie Eslin um Les Zoo, DK but oh that's uh Dawn I've only Frivolous. gotten that far I'm in the thong oh, area now. yeah yeah <laughs> Dawn of Frivolous and Frugal podcast. That's her favorite yarn, the Lazu. 
of Julia. I have to say it's beautiful. And and I've had some trepidation with continuing because I'm thinking this yarn is so nice. How often am I going to wear this shawl? You know, should I make something else with the yarn? So it's beautiful I, yarn. Yeah, it really, it really is. I love, I, I love knitting with it, but again, that's a little trepidation there on yeah. if I should make something else. But on the other hand, I'm like, what else would I make? I only got two skeins. And well, the other and, thought, um, force yourself. I must wear, I don't know. I, we knit so much. Yeah. I, I don't true. know. So I also think when you put, store it away, you forget what you have. Well, I have to yeah. say in my closet upstairs, most of my shawls are over pant hangers. Oh, so they're right there in the front of the closet. So I see them. There's very few down here in the bin that I would grab, you know, to wear with my coat or go to work or, or whatever, or I have, you know, I switch them out, but the yeah. ones upstairs. I think maybe for me, if I had it on a shelf, maybe, I don't know. Aren't you supposed to like cover it up? I, um, I don't think if they're in your rotation, I don't know that you have to cover them up. And before putting them in bins, that's the hardest thing for me. Like I have those cloth bins. Well, when the kids were here, you know, they're going through, they don't care. But now that I you know, now that, you know, Carson and Zach and Spencer, you know, they don't really use the coat closet like I do. Yeah. So I'm not, so I'm not so worried about them. Okay. All right. What you doing, Angie? What you doing? Well, I, I've kind of got the crochet bug. So I've been doing a little bit of crochet. So I started this little guy. <laughs> oh my God, he's oh. so cute. <laughs> oh my His God. His eyes look like sunflowers. Is that why you did him? Are you going to put him on the dashboard of your car? <laughs> I don't know. He's not finished yet. So this is... Gail. Wait, what is it? It's Gail the Gecko. Oh. Emma Groomy. Oh. Critterific Crochet by Carolyn Smith. Oh so my gosh, it's not, beautiful. not nearly finished. I just have the body done. So I still have to do the the uh, little um you know the detail on the back and the arms and legs, but well I've got to so, tell you that again. The photo in the pattern does not look as good as what you've got going on there, Angie. Right. Isn't he cute? You He's got very it going cute. on. Oh my God, it's beautiful. So oh, cute. One of my grandkids will get that. And then when my niece was here for Christmas, she had mentioned that she'd been on Etsy and that she had found a crocheted kind of granny square blanket that she liked um, and had wanted for Christmas, but you know, it was like $300. And her mom's like, wow. And it was, and it was acrylic. And her mom's like, uh, yeah, if you get that, you're getting nothing else. So she had showed it to me while she was here. And I thought, hmm, her 16th birthday is coming. So uh, six months, her 16th birthday. So I have plenty of time. So I started knitting square or crocheting little squares. Cute. Ooh. Angie, how much time do those take? These just a few minutes. So if I do a couple a day. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... Um, they're all going to look like this, and then they're going to have cream as the background, and I'll connect them as I go. So that's going to be her 16th birthday present. Oh my God, she'll be thrilled. Right. And then one more thing. So I started crocheting this because I was kind of obsessed with it when I saw it. Um, it's called Granny Go Round Jumper uh, by Iron Lamb. Oh, Angie, that's cute. cute. So um, I started crocheting it and I am ready to, to start the body. So here it is. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Anne's really cute. So uh, this yarn is... Um, that's not the Wonderland yarn, is it? No, it's, um, it's two of the uh, direful. One of them is the gray swimming with sharks and the pink is chumming the water. Oh, okay. exactly right and then this color uh just came in basic birch so it's like a pink oh green beautiful black. so that's what i'm using between it mm -hmm. so it's those three colors it's real white but um 
you can kind of get an idea how it's going to look. Uh, if I got this right here. So pretty. Like super cute, right? Pretty. Yeah, very pretty, cute, pretty. Ange. So, so yeah, I mean, it takes a lot of yarn, but I have to tell you a quick story of what happened to this. So I'm crocheting away and I'm almost to the point I'm at right now, which is ready to start the body and block off the arms. And um, my husband made me a, a protein shake and it was dark chocolate. And he brought it in to me and set it on the table next to where I was knitting. And I picked up my knitting or my crochet and it had a straw in it. And I kind of flipped it. And when I did, it caught the straw and dumped it completely in my lap and all over my crochet. <laughs> oh God. And it's dark chocolate. It does not come out. <clears throat> I tried and tried and tried. So I had to rip back about probably 10 rows to get it back to and redo to get it back to this. And yes. so that has to be tossed, the dark chocolate. Yeah. Oh, oh no. It would not come out. I and you only it. have yourself to blame. It's like, I oh, do. Yeah. And I was mad. I was so mad. But you know what? I looked at the nice thing was because it's crocheted, you can rip back, you know, exactly right. where you're at. Oh, you know, you, one oh darn. It's not but, that oh, painful. It was very, very painful. So, um, yeah. I'll be glad when I finish this and I can wear it. And it's so it. darn cute. Really, it is it's really cute. You know, I mean, like, well, you you are really on a crochet roll. I don't know why. I just, I think since she showed me that little blanket and said, "I, Aunt Dude, I really want this," and um, I said, "Oh," and she said, it, "It's so pretty." And so she doesn't know I'm making it, yeah. so it'll be a surprise. And I'm just going to make a throw for the end of her bed. That's but, awesome. You know, I mean, you make two or three of these a night, you know, I got six months, I'll be done in no time. Yeah. So. Nice. Well, good luck with that. That's a wonderful yeah. gift. So that is what I am uh, working on right now. Okay. Uh, don't tell <clears throat> my husband. <clears throat> so what you got, girls? Who goes? Um, Irene, why don't you go? All right. Well, speaking of that birch yarn, I uh, stopped in the shop a couple of days ago and purchased the birch yarn. <laughs> so I that love is, that color. Yeah. Um, Stitch Together Studio Basic Birch. Okay. So that. And then I got uh, Malabrigo Arroyo in these two colors. Uh, Plomo, and then this one is Sandbank because I saw that and I'm I'm in love with the Sandbank. Me too. I love that. So anyway, thought is I'm going to attempt that petite knit pattern, the uh, Stockholm hat. I'll see how it goes. I think my first one will be with this and see do I like it or not. And hey, the others I can always use that because I love it. Uh, what else did I do? Online order. Freckled Whimsy. I think all of you remember this. Uh, this is my all-time favorite. I've done this before. It's the Peppermint Mocha colorway. Now this is the fingering. And now she's got a DK. Ooh. So I thought, what the hey? Uh, you know, that is becoming very popular, the DK socks. See it everywhere. So that'll become that. And then... Wouldn't you know, Joanne's had some spectacular sale, and I thought, I am going to try this Patton's Croy socks, and uh, I got a bunch of these. So, Zebra Stripe, can't wait for that. Uh, what else? Cream, just because. And then, this was very pretty, kind of a rose. Yeah. And then, this, I thought, was kind of uh, just standard, nice color. And I think everyone knows with this Patton's Croy, because there's only 50 grams in each ball, you do have to do two to make a sock or a pair of socks. So yeah, that's all I got. All right. What about you, Joyce? Anything hiding in that? Yep. <laughs> well, a few things I acquired at Christmas. I had sent the kids uh, a couple of things I found on Etsy. And one of them was this needle roll by Stella Q. 
and I put all of my double pointed needles in them. Ooh, nice. And I like it because she's got them labeled. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So really like that. That was from Spencer. And then also I found some really cute stitch markers and I can't remember why, but I think it was the uh, Rowan felted tweed sweater that I was working on because they were so similar front back. So I wanted the stitch markers. So I got these from a needle runs through it. Oh, yeah. And so these little stitch markers tell you what to do. Make one oh. left, make one right, um, knit two together, SSK. So they're really cute. And then I think it's set two. One of them has left front sleeve, left front, right front, back, that kind of thing. Cute. So really, really cute. And she sent along a little Christmas tree stitch marker as well. Oh, I thought wow. that was really cute. And then this, I don't something to hold your pattern together. A little thing that says sweater weather. <laughs> really cute. So that I got, and then it's funny that you said legacy fiber arts because I couldn't decide whether I was going to do more Christmas sets this year for the family. So I bought myself a couple of sets. This one is not Christmassy. It's called Cousin Eddie. Ooh, oh, I love it. So that one's really cute. And then this one is called Whoville. Ooh. Oh. And then this one is called Christmas Vacation. <laughs> They're very nice. <laughs> and that, that's all I got besides the little hangers that I ordered. Nice. Well, I, I've i got some more yarn for my crocheted sweater. So this is the uh, Swimming with the Sharks and this is uh, the Basic Birch. And then I have some more of the um, pink in my stash. Um, but this is what I got. Very excited about it. Ooh. Merry Christmas to me. Yeah. It's a leather uh, case that holds, you know, it holds your knitting, it, it holds your uh, scissors, your tape measure, little needles. It's got stitch markers. You can put a pattern in here and a pen and your needles can hang right up here at the top. It's, it's pretty fabulous. It's got and it matches pocket. your hair. And it, it, yes, it matches <laughs> your hair, which is very important. And it's all leather. It has a little zipper on the back. Um, I love this thing. I've been coveting it since uh, Betsy got them in. And when uh, I got some Christmas money, I said, mm -hmm, yeah, I'm buying this. So I did. I'm very, I have the little tiny one that I keep in my purse that just has scissors and um, uh, little darning needles. But this one has the whole shebang and I keep it in my knitting bag. And Yeah, very cute. Very nice, right? Yeah. And that's it. So I guess that's all I got. Wow. I need, to buy, I need to buy more yarn. Yeah. Well, I did buy I did buy some reels to go into the crochet blanket for my niece, but you know, I mean it's yeah. Wow. Yeah. Nice okay. Day. So. Well, my goodness, 2022. Here we are. Yeah. Yep. Who knew? <laughs> yeah. Uh, a moment of silence for Betty White. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Can I just tell you? I was very saddened by that. I guess we know that she couldn't live to be 150, but I really wanted her to reach the 100. I did too. I did too. Um, you know, I grew up on Golden Girls. I grew up on Betty White. I think she was an amazing lady. And I have just, since she passed, I, that's all I can think about. I know there's been some other people too, but yeah. Betty. Yeah, that is so she's true. A staple my whole life. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was a true loss there yeah. out of the celebrities and all that. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh. So, yes. So, everyone, you know, think of Betty White. Donate to your favorite animal shelter, you know, yeah. in her name. And may yeah. we all pass in that manner. I think she oh, just yeah. didn't wake up. I thought, yeah. wow. Yeah. Fabulous. 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 Beyond fabulous. Well, yeah, very sad. I guess that's about all we have. Um, be kind to each other, be good people. That's all we can ask. Um, everybody uh, stay healthy, uh, knit crazy. And yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, knit like crazy. And, uh, you know, we've got some cold weather coming up here. You know, 
get some, get your knit on, ladies. It's sweat <laughs> so. And keep on knitting. It's, it's good, good for your health. health. Bye, everybody. I miss you. <laughs> I miss you too. <laughs> I haven't seen you guys in ages. I know. What? I need a drama me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if my thing will stay up. So, yeah, I don't know what to do about it. Unless I just hold it up. That's just stupid. Angie, you look beautiful as always. I yeah, always. Light is good in your room. Uh, it's, you know, this guy. Is that like an at light? Yeah, I just set it up next to good, me. Good, good. You know, if I turn this light off, <laughs> Then I'm in the dark, right? Yeah, it's too dark. Yeah. Turn this on. I look like. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me see if I, I can go with this. It is what it is.